Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today marks two weeks since my surgery, which was on January 20th, 2016. Um, and so I have all the stats for you of um, today, as well as just some of the things I've been kind of going through this week. Um, so my highest weight recorded was 139. Um, my height is just under 5'8". Um, my surgery date, my surgery date weight was 130. Um, my week one stats were 218 and my two week stats were 214. So um, that puts me at a 16 pound loss in surgery. So in two weeks I lost 16 pounds. And since my highest weight, it puts me at a 25 pound weight loss, which was actually just the week before surgery. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with my stats. Um, I think I had a little bit of a halt there for a few days for I think a couple of reasons. One, um, couldn't go to the bathroom um, for like four days. So I think that attributed a little bit. And also, um, it was my time of the month. Sorry, I'm very TMI today, but um, I've been retaining a lot of water. Um, and I think that it, I probably could have lost a little bit more this week. But again, four pounds. I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. Um, as for what I'm eating, I have included some more things into my diet. So one of the things I'm having a really hard time with is my protein shakes. I'm having such a hard time getting those down. They either really upset my stomach or I hate the taste and they make me nauseous. So I've been playing around with a bunch of different kinds and just mixing things in or trying to put um, flavorless protein powder into my foods, like my yogurts and my oatmeal. Um, because I just honestly don't know what else to do and I know that protein is so important for healing um, and just in general for my well-being. So that is one of my struggles this week, but I think it'll be okay. I think I'll get it all under control. This is a learning process. It's only been two weeks and I keep just telling myself that it's okay, like it's fine. I'm going to be fine and I'm going to figure this out, but that has been a struggle for me. Um, also, I added um, fish into my diet just a couple days ago. Very soft fish, um, sweet mashed potatoes. I think I told you that before. Um, also hummus, but homemade, so I kind of know what's in it. Um, just like a couple of little tiny bites. I don't know, I figure there's protein in beans. Um, eggs, actually I started yesterday eating um, scrambled eggs. So actually one scrambled egg and yesterday it took me that lasted me two meals so that's kind of crazy but today i was able to actually eat my one scrambled egg in one sitting i don't know it's weird also i've learned that and i could be wrong because i'm not really truly eating like full-blown all foods so i'm still on very soft foods so i'm still kind of learning what full feels like for me it's very different from before. It's just kind of like I'm feeling this like balloon that's like um, completely inflated in my esophagus and I'm like, ooh, I gotta stop. Um, so it's weird. Like when I start to feel that, I just stop eating or drinking because it hurts. Um, it's not your typical like, ooh, my belly's so full feeling. I don't know what that feels like yet. I mean, I'm not hungry. So I'm not feeling hungry. I'm not having hunger pangs. So I, I think in that aspect, I'm okay, but I'm still kind of just learning what all these feelings are. I don't want to, you know, overdo it and I don't want to hurt myself. So, um, I don't know. I'm still learning that. Um, since this past Sunday, I started feeling human again. Um, I just started to feel more energy and I was able to like not spend my day practically in bed, which... Um, is really nice. Actually, yesterday was a beautiful day out and I just was craving sun. Like I went out to the bank and to Target and I just, I parked far away just purposely to walk, slowly walk um, in the sun and let the sun hit my face because I just been home for so long that I was just craving the sunshine. Um, although after that I went to pick up my girls from school and I was pretty exhausted. So, you know, it just, it, my body definitely reminds me like, take it easy. I know you think you feel good. And then all of a sudden you're like, uh, hurts. Um, my belly button still hurts. My incisions still hurt, but they're healing really nicely. I'm using bio oil on my incisions and they are healing really beautifully um, so far. So no complaints about that. 
Oh, I ordered yesterday um, vitamins, a multivitamin patch. I will definitely let you know how that works, but I've read that it's really good. And I just figure, you know what, it's less pills that I have to take because having had the surgery, one of the things that you have to be very careful about is your vitamins. You have to make sure you're taking in all your vitamins because, you know, for, multi for a multitude of reasons, you're not eating your vitamins yet and your nutrients you're not getting all the nutrients you need from foods alone. So you have to make sure that you do that. And biotin is one of those things you need to take for your hair and nails. Um, I believe you do tend to lose your hair during this process. I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary, but again, I'm two weeks out, but I've been taking my biotin religiously. Um, so yeah, I've been getting more energy today. Unfortunately, not so much energy. Um, I don't know but it's raining out and I think it might just have to do with the weather but I took a little nap I never take naps it's so bizarre to like take a nap in the middle of the day but my body's still healing so um I just have to go with it as far as like my body goes I definitely see a, a big difference actually when I look in the mirror um in my body um so I definitely see a lot of changes happening like whether or not there's scale changes there's definitely a lot of changes going on and I think for me that's such a motivator to see myself feeling lighter I, I don't feel that bloated like that two o'clock feeling you know when you're so tired and you're just like after a big meal I don't feel that anymore and it's actually kind of nice to not feel that because it's good to feel good I will be adding more foods into my diet. Actually, yesterday I did have uh, mashed cauliflower and that was yummy. It was, it was actually really good. I had that with fish. Today I'm gonna try salmon. Um, again, the portions are really, really tiny. When I say I'm eating these things, it's like one little tablespoon of this with a couple of little bits of that. And you know, that's enough. And sometimes I have to break that up into two meals. So, you know just learning and kind of sharing with you everything that I can and that I've learned myself, but it's gonna be a long journey and I'm excited that you're along for the ride. So thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me, you guys have been so amazing. All the comments that you've left all throughout my social media or emails, I've had people email me and I just, I, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This was not an easy journey to share with, with you so publicly, but I know that I know that it's the right thing to do because I'm hoping that somebody out there watching this, whether you reach out or not, you know, maybe can benefit from my experience. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, be sure to follow along. Follow me on Instagram. I'm really um, uh, active there. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat's always fun. So definitely follow me if you like my channel and you want to see more of these videos or beauty videos. I do have a beauty channel. Um, definitely subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And, um, and also I do have a beauty blog, Fashion Maven Mommy. So go check me out there as well. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.